So, this is the Velman 200 watt discrete power amp for fire K8060. That's the picture of it. This is the real deal, the real thing. All set nicely with its heat sink and everything else. It's taking a fair old while to do this. But there we have it. The 200 watt <coughs> discrete amplifier by Velman. All nice and ready to go. Question. Does it work? Answer. Find out in a second. <laughs> so, this is the Velman 200 watt discrete amplifier the K8060 and this is wired to a toroidal transformer is being powered up by the Variac over here and what we're going to do is increase this voltage to 120 volts what can we hear? come over here I think I'm just going to turn the oh, the volume is down so we come back over here and we set this to 120 volts it'll do it works come back over to here that's somewhat of an annoying sound let's change things a bit now then I know that this potentiometer here is right down well that's annoying Go on to a square wave. Sorry, sawtooth wave. Let me turn that down a bit. So, point being, this little baby works. Um, I'm going to kill the uh, kill the voltage on the Variac. Um, yeah, well chuffed with that. It's taken me a while to build it. Um, but it all works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap it over with the one here on top of the Fostex and uh, the uh, focus right sorry, and we'll try it that one and see if that works. Be right back. You know those times when you think everything's set up and then you suddenly realise on closer inspection that you were wrong? Well this is one of those times. Just down, see if I can get my finger pointing in the right area, just down there there's two little holes and those two little holes take some metal posts which are, if I can show you them, 
just there. So those metal posts are supposed to be in to those two little holes down there and that way I can set these two wires from the function generator into there and actually create a sound. So I've had to go through the plava of desoldering the whole thing from the heat sink and now I'm going to put in the two little pins into there and solder those in place and then put it all back together to show you that, that one works as well. So be right back. A little something else I thought uh, might be good to show. Um, when you've built this amp, this uh, Velman amp, you need to be able to measure the bias, the bias, B-I-A-S, as opposed to the BIOS. Um, and this is done by putting your multimeter across this R19 here, positive to that side, negative to that side. And just behind there, because there's a lot of cables, if you can see that, there is a variable resistor just there. And what you have to do is adjust it to between 10 and 15 milliamps, which as you hopefully you can see on here, we've got it at 12.1 uh, millivolts, so not milliamps, 12.1 uh, millivolts. Now I happen to know, because it's the first time I've ever set the bias on these things, but um, I happen to know that having watched um, Mr. Carlson's lab, he explained how to do this, and he also explained how sensitive it is. Um, it is very hard to get it bang on. You've usually got to allow some kind of a leeway on it. But that's definitely between um, 10 and 15 millivolts. So I'm happy with that. Um, we shall now try and put some music instead of the function generator through this to see how it sounds. Okay, that's the update so far. See you in a moment.